It's Claudio. Hi, Gail. It's Claudio cat. It's supposed to burn off. Yeah, but... I, got, I put a skirt on and everything. I got shorts on. But it has to be burning off until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I know. And so when I, we get our butts out of bed so early, I'm all chilly when I come into work on the bus because it's like 2 degrees out. Sweatshirt. I know. It's July. It's the end of July. Yeah. Welcome anyway, to Seattle. Welcome to Seattle. What we're going to show today is how to lubricate your brew group. Or where you lube it? Lube it up, boss. Lube it up. So... See these grooves in here, these channels? Kinda, yeah. Point it out with your little... Right in here. And up in here, that's a channel where okay. something's gonna go up and down. Okay. Is that on both sides or just one side? Both sides, yeah. Everything is gonna be duplicate. Okay. Any moving point, like, uh, let me get this thing to move. Hold on a second. I had it moving a minute ago. See, all this goes mm -hmm. back and forth. Okay. So all the, basically the friction yep. points. And this thing here is going to go up and down. Hold on a second here. This thing is so awkward when it's when it's not. See, everything is, see all these moving points? Mm-hmm. Okay. That would be right in, right in here needs lubing, down in here. Anything you see where two things are moving against each other. Ah! Uh oh, you're caught. <laughs> you got me, man. Okay, so um, and how? So we say pull this out and spray it down really well with hot water, no soap, to, so you don't wash that lubricant off. But how often should you reapply this? When you see it's gone, okay. I would say. I mean, we've rinsed this one probably a hundred times, and it's still and it there. It still has it. There's still plenty there. You okay. Can see, it's all goobyish, and um, the stuff is. Uh, we get it from Seiko, but it's a uh, brew group lubric lubricant, okay. and it's non-toxic, odorless, and tasteless. It's a it's a food grade lubricant. You can't just use Vaseline or something like that on here. It'll jack your up, you, your you business just, up. You do not want um, to do that. And so we don't sell this tube. We don't separately. It comes into the Seiko uh, maintenance kit. Yep, we're with gonna, a bunch of other. We're going to be getting it in, but we don't have it right now. Look okay, how, this is how that works. See. Coffee goes down. Well, let's get this back over to where, if I can. Do you know what you're doing? No. Whoa! Okay, this is where coffee goes down in there. Mm-hmm. Then it goes, it goes forward over to here. goes forward it, over to here. Does that tamp it then? And then it goes up and tamp, tamp, and then baru. Through here, oh, onto the spot on the door. Fancy. Or you could, yeah, yes. we should just start doing that. You could h hook an IV up to it, huh, Gail? Yeah, you could. And yeah. then, if you want to get it's, all, then when it see when it goes, when that just went down. Oh, hold on a second. Let me get it back up. The the picture the. Pl Picture the, you can't see down in there, but there's a puck down in there. Mm -hmm. And as I pull this down, the plunger comes up, pushes the puck up, and it goes then. goes down that little slide. Yeah, and this Whee! scoops down. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so basically just keep an eye on it. Um, we have we have washed it ours a lot, and we still haven't had to reapply. So mm -hmm. it probably isn't something you need to do every time you wash, as long as you don't use soap. Right, you don't want to use soap on this anyway. Okay. Just not. Just spray it down real well with hot water. Hot water, yep. The hotter the better and let it dry. Man, you'd be good. All right. Ready? Thanks, Gail. You're welcome. <laughs>